We're Claire and Peter, and this is the story of how we decided to quit our jobs because believe it or not, selling everything we own, quitting our jobs, traveling for a year, and then extending to two was not always the plan. It wasn't even remotely on our radar, to be honest. We had this whole other plan, and then literally one day we were like, nah, we're gonna hyper fixate on travel. So it started in June of 2020 on a road trip to Colorado that Peter did not wanna go on. We were all working remote, living in Charlotte at the time. One of our friends took his work laptop and drove across the country to work out there. And I'm like, that is a really good idea. Let's get a cheap airbnb and work remote in colorado okay, so peter who is like the biggest rule follower you will ever meet was like well i can't go because i can't be sure there is wi-fi in colorado and what if i can't sign on to work i'm like one there is wi-fi in colorado are you good is everything good up there and two your company of 200,000 employees will not close its doors if wi-fi doesn't work for five minutes so he's stubborn but i'm more stubborn so we went and by some miracle there was wi-fi in colorado would you look at that it was supposed to be a two-week trip so that peter could get back to his apartment in charlotte as soon as possible with a good wi-fi and be the best employee ever but it was so fun and there was wi-fi and so we decided to extend the trip to four weeks and drove all up and down the west working east coast hours and spending our afternoons hiking also within the first few days of being there i came across these vloggers on youtube who took time off to travel and i had never watched youtube before this i know so you can imagine how mind-blowing it was to find all these people all at once and instantly something just clicked for me i was like i need to do this i need to quit and travel meanwhile i had very set plans to go back to to school for my MBA. I had taken the GMAT, primed my resume, and prepared to get into a top school as the daughter of Asian immigrants should, or else. And we are gonna buy a house, get a pet, have kids, as people do very young where we lived in North Carolina. I don't know what it was about those first few days in Colorado that gave us this new sense of adventure. Maybe it was just getting out of our routine and me continuing to feel so mad about my job. And if I felt that way, there's obviously no point in getting an MBA if Excel and networking all day long were the literal bane of my existence. And then of course there was Peter, being like, whoa, there's Wi-Fi in Colorado. This is cool. Um, so all those things just came together all at once and then the MBA path was instantly out. So I said to Peter, we have to take a year to travel. And I think he could sense that I was completely serious. And instead of saying no, like he usually does to my crazy, but still well thought out ideas, I am a Virgo after all. He's like, hmm, interesting. Looking back, our lives literally changed from one path to another that day. Um, and then we had to wait until the world was back to normal. So we talked about it every single day, saved up like crazy, researched and planned every single day. It could have just been a phase. I mean, it still is a phase, just a really, really big one. But then March, 2022, we quit and went on this trip. And the funniest part of all of this was it was truly going to be one gap year and then we'd figure out new jobs or whatever. We had no intention of doing social media. I never posted on my own social media anyways. But then I became fully obsessed with making videos, still am, and that is our story.